Because in traditional knowledge, usually the people who did the, who hold the knowledge, they don't own the property rights, intellectual property rights. So that is a clear case of bio piracy, you know, in which other people who know how to make use of the IT system are able to own the knowledge of other people. So that is, I think, a very bad case, you know. And in the area of medicines, I think it's very well known that uh, for many people suffering from many diseases, then they need to have the medicines at the cheapest price. So if IP can help that, okay. If IP cannot help that, then we need to have other solutions such as generic products. And, uh, and for generic products, you may need to have compulsory license uh, in some cases if the drug is patented. You know. And in climate technology, I think uh, we are still searching for all kinds of methods. We don't want patents to be a barrier to developing countries and poor communities having access to technologies. Many of the climate genes, climate tolerant genes have been patented and I think that is uh, something which is very bad. We should not patent agricultural uh, materials because the farmers in developing countries need those materials and uh, those materials may also belong to them but some companies may have patented it. That is another clear case. But on things like energy, motocars and so on, I think here we have a balance. Huh? There, there are companies that have developed these technologies. If they are able to license these technologies at a fair price and developing countries can have access at a cheap cost, then we don't have so much of a problem. But some developing companies uh, find a problem in being able to get a license to produce them. Then we may have a problem of access and we may have a problem of price. In which case we have to look at how to deal with this issue as it comes, comes up, you know.